So now we're going to look at improving the bar chart that we made in the previous challenge. And if you look at the chart here, there are two main problems with this. The first one is the bars are all touching each other and they're close together, so it's kind of hard to distinguish between them, like between where one bar ends and the other one begins. And this is even more complicated by the fact that there isn't much difference between the heights, so it's kind of hard to compare and contrast between the data here. So we can do this by making changes to both the class and the style method, which affects the height. So the first thing it wants us to do is we can add a space between each bar using a CSS margin, and we can do this in the class. And secondly, we can multiply the height by a constant so that uh, we can scale the bar and make it taller while keeping the proportions the same. So it wants us to first add a 2px margin to the bar class within the style tag. And then we can add, change the callback function so that we will multiply the height by 10. So the first thing to do is change add a margin. So we can do it right here in the bar class itself. Uh, so we can give it a margin and it wanted two pixels. So let's give it that. And we can already see that the bars have become a bit more separated and it's a bit easier to distinguish between them. And now we're going to multiply each value by 10. So instead of it returning D, the actual data itself, we want it to return 10 times D. And now we can see the bars have a bit more variation in the height and it's quite easy to tell them apart now. So this should be all we need to do and the bar's looking a lot better already. So we're just gonna submit this. And yeah, that's exactly what we needed to do.